I'm Susie Caldwell and I'm working with Whale and Dolphin Conservation. I'd like to say a huge thank you to the Yogscast and their incredible Jingle Jam community, the Scottish Government's Nature Restoration Fund, managed by Nature Scott, and our amazing supporters for helping us work on how to reduce whale and dolphin entanglement in UK waters. We're excited to update you on our project, where we're working with fishers on the west coast of Scotland to reduce entanglement of whales and other marine species in creole fishing gear. Let's hear from Bally from the Scottish Creole Fishermen's Federation, who will be able to show you exactly what we're doing with fishers. Hi, my name's Bally Phil. I work with the Scottish Creole Fishermen's Federation and I'm also a fisherman here on the Isle of Skye. I'd just like to say thank you for sponsoring the negatively buoyant rope trials and uh, maybe give, give you a wee explanation of what we're doing. So, the pots that we use to catch the prawns and crabs, they uh, get deployed in the seabed at roughly 15 metres apart and there's a big long rope that connects all of the pots together. Now, when the ropes are buoyant and uh, they float up when they're left in the seabed, they, they, they form these large arches that connect between the creels. Now, it's possible for sharks and whales to get entangled into those arches. The idea of the negatively buoyant rope trial is if you use a similar rope, and they look almost identical, but this rope's got a, a, a leaded uh, or a metal weight inside it, which causes it not to be buoyant, it will sink to the seabed. That means when we deploy these creels, the rope is lying in contact with the seabed as opposed to being in these big arches, and it means it can't entangle um, sharks or whales. Hopefully this is going to make a big difference in the future. Entanglement in fishing gear is an enormous issue for marine species, but with your help we're working on practical solutions to reduce this threat while enabling local communities to continue earning their living. Thank you so much again to Yogscast, the Jingle Jam community, the Scottish Government's Nature Restoration Fund and all our supporters and I look forward to bringing you another update very soon.